lot of energy into the issue, you know. So <clears throat> I decided I'm going to speak my mind, all right? Now, here's my take about the whole thing. It's my life, all right? It is my life. Listen, I have the right to wake up in the morning and marry 25 women. If I like, I make it up to 50. It is not your business. It is not the business of, you know, everyone around and, you know, to be saying things. It's my life. It is my life. The energy that you all are channeling into, you know, this thing. I mean, on a personal issue, my own personal issue, that's why politicians don't take uh, the people seriously. It's my life. Like I said before, it is my life. I have the right to wake up in the morning and we all have our various issues. All these people who wake up in the morning and then they carry my name, you know, my family on there. They all have their own issues. You have problems that are disturbing you. Focus on your problems. And then by the end of the day, you're looking for who to beg money from. You're begging money, you know, from people who are productive, who are thinking about their own lives and how to fix their lives. You stop your own and you're worrying about my life and then you, you wonder why you're not making money in the day. I mean, look at the case of the, the, the female singer uh, uh, that, said, uh, that, that died as a result of um, domestic violence, as they said, and, you know, the fact that she did not speak out. And then she died. Everybody is now, everybody came out to say, oh, she should have spoken, she should have spoken, she should have spoken, uh, whatever, you, you know, speak out, blah, 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 blah. Now a man comes out and speaks out and owns up to his responsibility and said, yes, this is what I did and this is, you know, owns fan base and all that. I'm very grateful for all that. I'm grateful to the people who love uh, the films that I do, who have supported my career. But you all must understand that I have my private life and I'm entitled to my private life. I cannot take decisions based on my private life. And then everybody is, oh, everybody is so over my private life. You. Have I come to your own private life to talk about it? Do I talk about your own private life? Do I tell you what you should do and what you should not do? Do I teach you? Huh? Do I do that? Have I done that? No. No, and I will never do it. It's my life. I have a right to take decisions that I feel are okay for me in my family, in my personal life. You have no right to judge me. I was not created by you. I was created by God. The same God created all of us. That same God is going to judge me. And that same God is going to judge all of you. You have no right. Focus on your own problem. Marry 100 women in one day. It's my life. It's not your business to judge me. The only person I owe an explanation is May, my wife. She's the only person I owe an explanation. Yes. And when and how that explanation is done is still not the business of people out there. It is not. I mean, let's be honest. <clears throat> let's be factual. There are men out there, a lot of men who have children from different women. They even have different families. We have women who have children, who are married, who have children for other men in their families. We have priests, we have uh, uh, um, a clergymen, pastors who have children from different women, from different marriages, all over the place. All sorts of issues, yet these people don't have the guts to come out and own up to it and say, these are my children, this is my child. So I said I was going to speak and, you know, say my mind about the whole thing, you know, speak, um, say my own side of the story. Um, although a lot of people said I shouldn't say my side, I should just be silent. But like I said before, um, <clears throat> silence is good yeah but um, not all the time you know sometimes silence is not really the best answer you really have to speak so I have decided to <clears throat> excuse me I have decided to speak um, for the past two weeks right now a, a lot of people have been you know discussing this issue you know me um, the whole polygamy <clears throat> excuse me the whole polygamy thing, uh, me taking a second wife and all that, it's been buzzing everywhere. We broke the internet and all that, you know, and people are still talking. It's, it's everywhere. People are throwing insults. 
you know, uh, uh, pumping or anything like that. And then someone like me, a man like me who has, you know, who has the integrity, who has the respect, who has the guts to come out and own up. And people are saying things about me. Sh Can you hear me? I said, sh on you. There are problems all over the place. I mean, someone sent me a message and, and said I should, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the person said uh, that he's advising me to address, to call a, a press conference. I should call a press conference and discuss my family life with you. Excuse me. Food prices are rising. Everything is increasing. People are Have you called on the government to address those issues, to call a press conference? You're telling me, you le dossier to call a press conference so that we're going to discuss my, I'll discuss my life with you. You should focus on your own life. My life is not your business. I mean, yes, I'm a celebrity. I do films. I have.